The Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield, Ohio has transformed over time from a Civil War training camp to a revolutionary prison to an infamous prison to a haunted zombie laser tag arena and museum. The exact space of the Ohio State Reformatory can be seen right here. This is a Google Earth satellite image. Um, and this little dot right here is the Ohio State Reformatory. As you can see Cleveland is right there and Columbus is down here. And this is a closer up zoomed in image of the Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield. Um, and this right here is the exact space of the Ohio State Reformatory, the coordinates right here. This is the address, which would technically be more of the place location um, because the address can and has changed over time. Um, but the address, in case you're curious, is 100 Reformatory Road, Mansfield, Ohio, 44905. The place meaning of the Ohio State Reformatory, as I said previously, has changed over time. Um, originally, the land was used as farms, um, but it became a Civil War camp in 1861, Camp Mordecai Bartley, as a Union Army camp. The um, site was chosen largely in part due to a large spring that existed on the site uh, and over 4,000 troops were trained there um, during the course of the Civil War. Right here is a map of Camp Mordecai Bartley. Um, I know it looks like I drew it. Um, I promise I can't draw that well. Uh, it's a primary source and so is this two arms um, which is a call to arms for the Civil War. Um, the call to arms poster is about a year after the camp opened right there. So there was a um, call for reformation of prisons in the 1870s and Ohio needed a new prison. So uh, Mansfield was chosen as the site of a new prison in 1885. These are the initial plans right here. That's the cover page of a document um, with the architect and some of the sponsors of the prison on there. Um, as I said, the Mansfield site was chosen in 1885. Mansfield was a growing city at the time. Uh, it had four railroad access, four railroad accesses, which was very important, um, and three highways intersected there as well. The state purchased 180 acres for the reformatory, um, and the prison was actually really well received by most of the people in the town. They saw it as an economic development opportunity. Um, the town had been transitioning from a uh, rural to an urban um, culture uh, and economics. Um, and the town even had a town-wide holiday the day the construction began. Um, and then the day that the prison opened, 10 years after construction began, um, in September of 1896, the local newspaper wrote Mansfield's Greatest Day. So this obviously had a lot of meaning to the people um, of the city. And this is a sketch of the Mansfield prison during construction. That's from 1886. Um, and that's kind of the crown jewel of the Mansfield prison, which is also right up here. Um, and you'll see it a handful of other times throughout the presentation. Um, the Cleveland architect Levi Schofield designed the prison. Uh, he used Victorian Gothic, Richardsonian Romanesque, and Queen Anne architectural styles to invoke spirituality and inspiration, um, fitting with the goal of prisoner reformation. However, the inmates did not um, have these emotions invoked in them as much as Schofield would have liked, and the buildings became known as Dracula's Castle by inmates. Um, and down here, there is a postcard from 1807, and up here there's another postcard from 1807, this one showing the beautiful architecture of the Ohio State Reformatory, and up here this is showing inmates drilling, um, again, kind of with the idea of fostering reformation in them. So, as previously stated, there was a reformation movement that had started in the 1870s, uh, focusing on prisoners, um, uh, kind of to reform them as opposed to just exile and uh, punish them. So it was less punitive and more reformative, still punitive though. Um, and the prison was originally intended to house intermediate inmates, um, and it was originally called the Mansfield Intermediate Reformatory. 
Um, and like I said, it was meant to house first offenders. Um, they were supposed to be between 16 and 30 years old. Uh, as time went on, they became less of the case, but the prison's goal was always reformation. Um, the prison allowed inmates to work various jobs and actually had training programs inside of the prison. Um, and they even had, uh, you know, classes and athletic teams like baseball complete with their own uniforms. Um, one African-American inmate actually went on to play in the MLB, winning a World Series with the Detroit Tigers in 1968. He still holds some records to this day. And he was actually scouted inside of the prison uh, by MLB teams. It's pretty miraculous. Um, right here is one of the cell blocks. This is the East cell block. And you are able to kind of see how the prison, this is from 2015. So it's in a decrepit state. The prison had been closed for some time at this point. But um, yeah, you kind of see how the prison is set up. So despite their categorization as an intermediate prison, uh, it did begin facing troubles over the years, including several deaths of guards, employees, prisoners, and even a suspicious death, death of the warden's wife in 1950. The prison slowly deteriorated over time, and much-needed renovations and changes were too expensive. Um, as uh, riots and escapes were not common, but they did occur in the prison, um, overcrowding became more and more common, and conditions rapidly declined. Um, the Ohio State Reformatory Previously, the Mansfield Intermediate Reformatory was closed in 1990 by a United States District Court, which deemed the living conditions inhumane and the, prisons over, and the prison overcrowded. Um, and that ruling came in 1986, and they had four years to find new places for all the prisoners. Um, so demolition began shortly after all of the prisoners had left in 1990. Um, started with the surrounding wall and some of the outside buildings. Um, however, similarly to when the construction was started, um, it was postponed due to high cost, um, the demolition that is. Um, and then 1993 filming of the film Shawshank Redemption began at the Ohio, or the, the 1994 film um, of Shawshank Redemption began filming at the Ohio State Reformatory in 1993, excuse me. Um, the reformatory was also featured in 1997's um, Air Force One, and a rather extensive list of movies and shows, particularly ghost hunting shows, although the Ohio State Reformatory is best known for the film Shawshank Redemption, um, which was filmed almost completely at the Ohio State Reformatory. And the prison regularly tops a uh, list of most haunted places in Ohio, and the United States as a whole, um, as does Levi Schofield's other famous building, the Athens Lunatic Asylum in Athens, Ohio, at Ohio University. So in 1995, after the release of Shawshank Redemption, the Mansfield Reformatory Preservation Society was formed to save the remaining buildings that had not been torn down. The society was eventually able to buy the buildings from the city of Mansfield for a whopping $1 um, and the city of Mansfield had been given the property by the state. The building, um, the buildings at the Ohio State Reformatory now, ho now house the Museum of Ohio Corrections Department, and they host various private events and, you know, some haunted historical tours and things like that. Some of the events that they host include zombie laser tag, as I previously stated, Tattoo conventions, music festivals, barber competitions, beer festivals, Shawshank Redemption tours, um, you know, overnight sleepovers, haunted things, uh, tons of different things like that. This is actually a poster right here from the Incarceration Music and Tattoo Festival. That is a pretty punny name. Um, and these are some of the bands and things like that that performed there. So, go to some more images right here. This is the East Cell Block that was shown on the previous um, page. This is it before it was in complete and utter disrepair. Um, 
this right here kind of shows the architectural styles combined with the prison aspect right here. You've got some of these beautiful giant arches, these amazing massive windows letting in all of that natural light and a prison, which was very um, unusual uh, for a prison at the time in prisons nowadays as well. Um, right here you have some inmates performing jobs meant to reform them. Um, again, you see them working some type of factory equipment right here. Um, and then right here you've got inmates taking classes. Again, pretty, um, pretty revolutionary. Uh, over here there's the filming of the Shawshank Redemption. Uh, again, a very, very, very famous movie. Um, and here is the warden's house and administrative quarters and offices, as I uh, showed earlier. Um, again, kind of the crown jewel of the the building. But yeah, here are the references. And to quickly recap, the Ohio State Reformatory started as farmland, became a Civil War training camp, um, became Ohio State's became Ohio's first reformatory uh, prison and then went into a quick and rapid decline after about 80 or 90 years, um, closing in 1990 and becoming a museum in 1995. And it now hosts all sorts of different private events and is a large tourist attraction for the city of Mansfield. Um, the prison, uh, oddly enough, has always been a kind of crown jewel of the town and a place of pride and joy for the city of Mansfield.